here we go. The number one most useless item I have, I actually received this. This is nothing against the company. It's actually an okay item. I just could not find a use for it. I couldn't even think of why someone had actually used this. Welcome back to my channel, guys. My name's Jason Morris. Today, I wanna to do something a little bit different, but firstly, I just wanna say, this might be the last video of 2019. Thank you to all my subscribers and everyone who has tuned in and watched uh, my videos throughout this whole year. It has been a great year uh, for my YouTube channel and just obviously for my whole creativity sense with online creation. It's just been such a fun time and you guys have experienced obviously from me from the start. I think at the start of the year I was about a thousand subs. I'd just like to stop and say thank you to all my subscribers. I'm up to a thousand subscribers. I'm at just over 13,000 now. So it has been a nice year for me with growth. Uh, hopefully 2020 will be an even better year and obviously produce much better quality content for you guys. But anyway, this video is about 10 items that I have actually received or bought myself and just have never used, they are completely pointless or just have never made it into their own video because, well, they're just not good enough or they just don't get used. So at number 10, we go for the Hohem iSteady Multi Gimbal. Now this gimbal actually is pretty good. But the thing is, is I don't have a small enough camera to be able to utilize this more often because it has a payload of 400 grams. Now that's mainly for the cameras like the RX100 series or the Canon GX7 or GX9, whichever they are, the really small compact camera series. It suits those cameras. I don't actually have any of those, uh, but you can also use your smartphone and your GoPro or action camera. But I have a smartphone and an action camera gimbal, which they are absolutely fantastic. I've got the Hohem iSteady Pro 2, which is an action camera gimbal, and the Gudson Moser Mini S, which is the smartphone gimbal. I got that uh, pretty much a similar time. They get used more often because I, the Hohem Multi is just that awkward sort of size that you could go a bit bigger or could go a bit smaller. It's kind of that in between. Perfect for people who have the RX100 series or, or something similar, but it's just not for me. So coming in at number nine, I think is a really, really great item. I've only just used it once when I went to Tasmania. Now that is the Polar Pro Defender case. Now this slips straight over your lens and protects the front element from getting scratched. It is a fantastic uh, piece of equipment, but I've only used it that once in Tasmania. Now the only reason why I don't use it more often is that I have the uh, magnetic covers by Freewell, and I just put that straight back on, take it off, put it straight back in my pocket. It just seems a little bit easier for me. My kind of shooting, I don't do a lot of hiking, so I don't need to protect the lens as much as obviously a lot of hiking people do. But that comes in at number nine. At number eight, uh, I did buy it out of my own pocket and it is a boom stand. Now this attaches to your table. The only reason why I don't use it is because it's just not long enough. I really wanted to use it for live videos, setting up the camera where it is now, having the boom right here, and I'm able to adjust it. Uh, I just haven't been able to use it because of the positioning and the length. I generally use a, a basic boom. Um, it's just a lot longer and I'm able to uh, put it over the top of the camera a little bit more. Yet, yeah, uh, I don't regret buying it, uh, but I don't think it is useful for my situation. So coming in at number seven is the camera slider. Now I think this is by Newer. It's a great piece of equipment, don't get me wrong. It is a great piece of equipment. It is used, I've used it quite a lot uh, in the past, 
but unfortunately it's just, it's not very smooth. Now with these ones, it's all friction based. Now there is no wheels, there's no bearings, but the thing is with this one, it's plastic sliding on metal, so there's a little bit of friction. Um, it has to be nice smooth surface. So I did end up spraying some garage spray on top of it to make it slide a little bit smoother, but you still can't get that nice smooth tracking motion. Uh, but now I use the Zipon slider. That thing is incredible. Such smooth, smooth footage you can get out of it because the resistance is a lot different and I just love it. I, I use it pretty much for a lot, a lot of my videos. If not, almost all of my videos when it's close product shots. So I do recommend it. Uh, all the uh, links in the description will be below of all the good stuff that I'm using and all the stuff that I'm talking about as well. If you guys, you know, might find it useful for you uh, and your kind of video production. So coming in at number six is actually not too bad of a product. I just, I don't find any use for it whatsoever. I made probably that one video or two videos with it. It's just not for me. It's uh, it's by Ulanzi and it is a macro lens for your Osmo Action and also a fisheye lens for your Osmo Action. Now I did make a video that you can actually use these for creative purposes. Uh, in terms of uh, the macro lens, if the Osmo Action is your only camera, this would be fantastic, that's great. It is a great piece of equipment. It allows you to get uh, the minimum focusing distance a lot closer, so you can get those nice close-up shots of items, products, uh, insects, whatever you need when you are using the Osmo Action. But I just don't use the Osmo Action like that. I've got my a7 III, I've got the uh, my other cameras that can do macro shots, so it's just, yeah, it's not, not an item that I use very regularly, so that's why it is coming in at number six. Coming in at number five. Now this is a great item. I have just never used it. It hasn't found its way into a video yet because I've never used it. Um, well, I've tested it to see if it works. It works great, but it just does not suit any situation I have uh, needed so far. Now this is the Boya uh, Dual Lav Mic. So this is uh, two lav mics that attach into one uh, 3.5 millimeter audio jack. So if you attach it into your phone or your audio device and record it, it is on one track though. So that's, that's probably the main issue I do have with it. You can't uh, record on separate audio tracks, comes into one audio track. Um, I just, it's four meters long, which is 13 feet. 13 feet long, the, the cord. So it's, I guess the, the, the main reason why you would actually use this is probably like in an in a interview sort of state. That would actually probably make the most amount of sense, but I still generally lav mic two people up individually and record on individual devices. It just, it's a lot more, it suits my needs a lot better, but it is a great item. I've just never used it. That's why I've never actually made a video about it. Okay, coming in at number four. Now we're getting down to the items that are starting to, yeah, be a little bit crap. They're not great. Uh, this item I actually bought before I got the iSteady Pro 2, which is the Osmo Action or GoPro gimbal itself. I wanted to use my action camera on a gimbal so I can get some nice smooth hyperlapse shots. I ended up buying this, I don't even know what it's called. It's like a GoPro attachment or action camera attachment for your smartphone gimbal. Now I had the smartphone gimbal, so I was like, hey, why buy another gimbal when I could just buy this, you know, 15 to $20 attachment and put the GoPro straight on it and away you go. I've never used it. It didn't fit my Osmo Action. It only fits maybe a GoPro, something a bit smaller. That's why I didn't use this item. Now the, the top three, this was very difficult to do because they were three very bad items. They were three very bad items that I regret getting and I really think uh, they need to be told and how bad they are and how pointless they are. This next one, uh, this was when I got the Osmo Pocket. I think in January is when I decided, hey, I'm gonna get external audio. And when I did get the external audio, obviously you need a proprietary USB-C audio attachment for the Osmo Pocket. I decided to buy this audio attachment that 
is on eBay for like seven bucks or something. Stupidly cheap, it's crazy cheap. So I was like, hey, why not? And obviously it didn't work. And even you can, it's got a 3.5 millimeter audio jack or the USB-C. You can plug it into your phone and it sounds just the same as the phone recorder, if not worse. Uh, I, <laughs> it's a piece of crap, $7 makes sense. I regret buying it. This is the only video you'll see about this thing. Now, number two, number two, this was tough to decide between number two and number one. Number two is an LED light. Now I have absolutely no idea who sent me this. I cannot remember the company, but they sent me a whole bunch of items. This came with it. Uh, it's, it's crap, it sucks. It's an LED light that I thought, hey, this would actually be great for um, such small situations where like this, I'm using the bowling light as a little bit of a fill light here. It might be great. The one thing is, is you cannot adjust the intensity. It's either on or it's off. It's literally just like a torch. Now it's designed so you can actually put it on top of a, a cold shoe or a hot shoe mount. And it's also got three cold shoe mounts on it. So you can attach audio and external monitor. I don't know what else you would attach on it. It's a piece of crap. It's made out of plastic. Reminds me of those clocks that you know when you go to the, the $1 store or $2 store and they're like square plastic clocks. It reminds me of the build of that. It's just very, very cheaply made. It, it might actually work well as a torch. Like it doesn't have rechargeable batteries. It, it allows you to buy a two double uh, A batteries to put in there. I mean, who uses double A batteries anymore? The only thing that I've got that uses double A batteries is uh, my speed light for photography. Link is in the description below if you wanna check it out, if you want something like that. I just know that there's other items you can invest your money on uh, that would be a lot better. Here we go. The number one most useless item I have, I actually received this. This is nothing against the company. It's actually an okay item. It's this. This attaches to your lens and you put an ND filter on and you can flip the ND filter out of the way, take photos or videos, put the filter back in front, take photos or videos. Now I couldn't think of a reason why the hell I would need to take the ND filter on and off that fast. Would it be for photographers? I, what situation would you actually need that? The one thing I could think only think of is a videographer had an ND filter on the front. They are from outside and the ND filter is at its very minimum. And then you're about to go inside, you flip it up, go inside and boom, you, you, you're not underexposed. That's great. But I have never been in a situation where I've gone straight from outside to inside with filming. I know there could be some people that they might actually do that with event photography, um, but it's generally you're either outside the whole time or you're inside the whole time. And even if you are inside, you can just quickly unscrew it and away you go rather than flip out, flip on. Now the thing is with this is it was a little bit too thick. So if you did have a wide lens, you would actually see the vignetting. It wasn't even vignetting. It was almost like a fish eye round part that would, it would literally look like this. It would look like that. It sucks. That's why it's number one. I mean, it's a very quality product. It's metal, it's solidly built, fits well on the lens, but I just could not see a use for it. I could not make a video about it because I just could not use it. I didn't use it. I didn't believe in it, and I didn't think you guys would need to know about it, but it reaches number one today. So anyway, guys, uh, that was a quick video. I hope you really enjoyed this. It was something a little bit different. I wanna do my top 10 items that I received in 2019, or maybe I might do a top 10 items that I've received in 2020. Um, but these videos, I just wanna make some fun videos for you guys, just something a little bit different, but still talking about filmmaking and photography stuff. As per usual, you know, that is my niche, that is uh, my favorite stuff to talk about. 
But anyway, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit that like button if you did. Uh, please have a very safe and happy holidays. Happy New Year's because I won't see you guys until next year, 2020. It's going to be a massive year. I hope you guys stick around. Other than that, my name's Jason Morris. Enjoy your holidays. Stay safe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Let's get it. Ah, oh, the dogs keep barking. Oh, yeah. Winnie! Hop! One second.